What's going on, everybody? It's Regan Rice jumping in The Walking Dead. Now, where I left off, we got to the farm. We're about to walk around the perimeter and take a look see. So let's just jump right into that and see what we got going. All right, so we go. Walk with the perimeter. Take a look at the swing, though, because we just found out the swing looks a little shitty. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. I don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Hmm. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Oh, huh. funny, funny. Ha ha. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right mm -hmm. ahead. So we're going to sit here and start making a swing, which I don't see a problem with. Yeah, just throw it in your back pocket. That's how we work. That's how we do things. All right, let's see if we can get it from to the swing. Oh, yeah, there we go. Putting the swing back together and making it all pretty again. So people will let us stay here and eat their food. The board is good, but I need some rope. Well, schnitzel. Schnitzel, 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 schnitzel. Where the hell would some rope be? That's a window. No, I don't see no rubber here. Let's look at this. Uh, Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Hmm. Yep. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. I feel you on that. I'm a safety kind of guy myself. Gotta protect them little ones. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I guess we can open this gate because I need rope, but I don't see rope down here. Shoe bucket. Ah. This rope is okay. for the swing. Now that we got the rope, we can go over here and get it done and see what happens. Got the rope, rope, rope. All right. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's going to be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Damn right. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Mm. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Mm. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Yay, making everybody happy. Gotta make the world happy. Make a happy place. During the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. A little song. A little song for you guys while we... What was you grabbing on, bro? No, no. Just look at the generator and then talk to him. 
What's that? Generator. Well, no shit. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Mm. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other mm -hmm. folks, uh, trading for gas and food. Uh -huh. and ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Yeah, okay. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Nice, nice. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. <laughs> Like us? That's what's up. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds All easy. right, so we go. Stay attentive. Never know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't trust them. It's one of those too good to be true scenarios where you sit back and you see these people and you're like, oh, cool. And then all of a sudden there's like a little twist. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but... Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Uh. And cook the zombie. I'm sure there's still a few nice. more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another I'm just one. looking at I see it I'm being realistic you know you can only do so much before you know before the shit catches up with you you know I'm all about being you never get used to the smell do you <laughs> nope you don't take the hands off? Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Mm. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. It'd be nice. Shit. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. 
This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? And actually doing some work. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Come on out. I already got one of you. Shit. Ah, fuck you, strong bitches. Up. There has to be. Jane. Maybe I can push it now. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Did you really think you could fuck with us? No fuel. Of course. Over there. Now there you are, boy. Oh, there's our fucking problem. Come on. If we can reach the gate, I we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Oh shit. Give us the food Show yourself. You asshole. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. Trying to make it so I don't die. Another dead crispy that I gotta get away. How many of those things did we push down? Come on, get the crispy critter. Come on, get him. Get the crispy guy. Oh, come on. You thought you was dead. Got this asshole. Thank you. Appreciate that. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead. Damn. Run. We ain't going nowhere. Well, ain't that about a bitch? Damn ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey y'all! Mark! Oh my God! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Damn. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. 
Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Yeah, come find me. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hmm. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing, my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Oh, so sweet. Oh, so sweet. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm curious about this. See if he says anything when I go over here and touch it. Because I should have touched it earlier when he was next to me, but I didn't. Oh, shit. It just lets me in. Well, all right. Yeah. That's feed for the... Looks like a feeding station for the cow. That's funny, though. I don't see the cow. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Yeah, true that. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Mm. Just hay bales, man. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. True. Didn't think about that myself. As much as I don't want to, I, I bet you any money I'm going to have to talk to that, huh? Oh, shit. All right, let's get this over with. Didn't want to, but apparently I have to. And I don't want to. Because this motherfucker hates me with a passion, and she's just... Er Lee, oh my God, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. Mm -hmm. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by no, him. I, I ain't he's judging nobody. And I love him. I feel how it is. I hope my daughter's like that with me one day. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. 
I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just it's wait for dinner. And then it's if Mark not is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our Agreed. luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid mm. and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. It's not the fact that I didn't give him food. It's the fact that he's an old guy. Kids need to eat. Young homeboy that was with me kept bitching and complaining. You know, and, and it wasn't the fact that I was being... I wasn't being picky about the situation. I'd rather feed the kids and the ones that are truly, really hungry and keep myself starving. And, and yeah, he may be an old guy, but at the same time, I do believe that maybe she was hoarding food for him because I didn't hear him bickering and saying, Hey, I need something to eat. I need something to eat right, right now. You know, can I can I eat something? No. Can you talk to her? Damn. Hey, Clint, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. It's going to make me push right now. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Man, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. I agree. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Don't worry, we're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. <laughs> yeah! Okay, Duck, don't <laughs> pop <the> gas. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to him. Wait, what? Not Clem. Can it? Getting macked by the swing. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two <laughs> shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny. You didn't seem too worried about Duck when Larry wanted to throw him out into the street back in Macon. That's in the past, Kenny. But lots happened since then. Yeah, right. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal. 
you know? I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Yeah, I should never have picked... I didn't try to pick sides. I try to be neutral. And be like, yo, man, let's just talk about it. And apparently talking about shit just doesn't help each other. Fellas. How you feeling, Pete? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. Hey. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's um, do it. I'll stay here and hold yeah. down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. I'll be back. Be I'll be back. I, I promise, Clem. I promise. If not, I'm gonna shoot the white dude in the head and run. Man, the things you gotta do to survive, man. See anything? Not yeah, yet. just some dude behind me with a gun. <laughs> I know. I'm not a trustworthy you. person when it comes it's to that. You got a gun, you better stay in front of my ass or next to me. Here. Oh shit! You found it. And I believe this is where I'm going to go ahead and end it today's episode. I appreciate everybody watching. If you watch, please hit that follow, hit that like, and hit that subscribe. I mean, I appreciate all that. And as always, this is Rick and Rice saying, live life one grain at a time. Peace.